If you have a Venue Magic timeline with more than about 20 tracks, it starts to get a little difficult to manage. I've seen timelines with over 300 tracks, and it's really hard to keep track of where things are. Venue Magic offers two ways to simplify and organize tracks in a timeline to make it a lot easier to manage. The first way is by using track groups. If you have two or more tracks that kind of belong together, you can do this. First, select several tracks that should go together. You can do this by holding down the control key on your keyboard and clicking on the track control panels. Then right click on one of the selected tracks and select group tracks. You can see that all of these tracks have been combined into a track group, which I can open and close as needed to make things a little neater. Let's give our group a name. Once a group is created in this way, you can drag other timelines into and out of the group. When you drag or delete the last track from a group, the group is deleted. If you delete a group track, it will delete all of the tracks inside. If you want to delete a group without deleting the tracks inside, right-click on the group and select Ungroup Tracks. You can have as many tracks as you like in a group track. However, you cannot add another group track to a group track. There's really not a whole lot more that I can say about group tracks. Just play around until you get the hang of using them. Another way to organize tracks in a timeline is to use timeline pages. By default, a timeline has one page, which you can see in the tab list at the bottom of the track area. To add another page, right-click somewhere in the page tab area, and select Add Page. You can see that another page is created with no tracks. Any track you add will become part of the currently selected page. When you play back a timeline, it will only play back what is on the current page. If you want to play the entire timeline, click this button to turn on a full timeline playback and then click play. Click the play all button again to disable full playback. To change the text on a tab, Double-click on it and give it a new name. You can also change the color of the text or the tab itself. You can also put existing tracks onto a page, even if it coexists on another track. Right-click on the page area and select Organize Pages. In this section are all of the currently existing pages for this timeline. You can add, remove, and reorder pages from here if you like. Click on a page and this list is filled with all of the tracks currently assigned to that page. Down here is a list of all available tracks with check marks next to the tracks assigned to the selected page. Add tracks to a selected page by checking the box next to it. Remove pages by unchecking the box. And that's about all there is to timeline pages. For more details, press F1 from this window.